Hi, it's Mark from TrainSpark with another quick Learn Dash tip. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can add a glossary to your Learn Dash platform. Now, if you have a course with some fairly complex terminology like this, what you might want to do is give learners a means of hovering over it and seeing a definition of that word or acronym without having to go off to a different page or Google it. And what we're going to do is show you a plugin that will allow you to do this. So I'm just going to cross that off now and show you that I'm now at a place where I don't have that functionality and all I have is this word and it's not highlighted and I can't do anything with it. But what I'm going to do is show you how to install a glossary to have that sort of tooltip that we had uh, we saw previously. So I'm going to head as an admin back to the admin dashboard and I'm going to go to plugins and then add new what we're going to do is search for glossary in the top right here. Now this will bring up a few different plugins and the one I'm going to install here is this top one called Glossary by Code Eat, and it's got 2000 plus active installations. So let's give that a go. I'm going to click install here and then we can activate it. And we can skip or allow uh, this uh, to share data and get information about plugins if, updates if you want. Uh, but I'll just skip that there. And we've now got this glossary plugin installed on our Learn Dash platform. And we can see this on the left hand side here. We've got glossary and a few options here beneath it. So, what I'm going to do first is show you some of the basic setup. I won't go into everything, but I'm just going to show you the key bits that would get you to a place where you can have tooltips like we saw previously on, on that, that page. So the first thing you want to do is look at this enable in, and this allows you to select the types of post or page on your LearnDash platform that you want glossary items to be able to appear in. So typically a WordPress platform would have things like posts and pages. You can enable it for these if you want. But as you are using LearnDash, what you'll want to do is scroll down here and make sure this is enabled for courses, lessons, topics, quizzes, questions, challenge exams. If you want certificates and groups, but I don't think that would really work for those. So the key ones here are these for LearnDash and you just want to make sure that those are enabled. If you've got other plugins that install or create their own custom post types, it's probably worth looking through and ticking some of these as well. If you scroll down here, uh, one of the other things I changed was under enable tooltips on to terms, and you can have it so that it links to a separate page if you have a tooltip, but I want to show a tooltip here. So uh, I want to actually show the pop-up box that appears above the, the word when you, when you hover over it with a mouse. And there are a few different tooltip styles here, classic box, line and simple. I think in the previous video, I just uh, previous screen, I just showed the simple tooltip type there. So I'm going to change that to simple. And the last thing uh, that I'll show you is you can limit the amount of words or characters that appear in the tooltip box if when you hover over it with a cursor. So by default, it will only show 60 characters you might want that to show whatever you put in there. And if you want to show the full and complete content, you can set that as zero and it will show whatever is in that, um, that tooltip in full rather than truncating it and only showing a bit of it and asking the users to then click the link to go to a, another page to view the full thing. So I've just saved that now. So I've selected, I've set up, um, some of the basic settings for this and click save at the bottom. So now what we want to do is create a glossary item. So what I'm going to do first is go back to that course and find the word that I want to add to the glossary, which is this one, pranayama. Um, and you know I've not got an idea of what that is, so I'm just going to Google it myself and copy here the um, 
the definition of it. So back into our LearnDash platform, what I'm going to do is go to Dashboard, Glossary, and then Add New. And this isn't immediately obvious, but what you need to do is paste the title, the word itself as the title, and then the content of what appears within it, within this um, bit underneath it. So the, bit, the content of the page and then click publish. And I think it's because it's in Gutenberg, it's not that apparent that this is actually the title um, and the word that you would be creating a glossary entry for. And then beneath it here is the actual definition of that, that word or acronym. So we've now added that. So I'll just go back to the dashboard and show you if we go to all glossary, we've got that here, this word pranayama and we've added the, the text definition for it. So if I head back to my course now and then go back into it, we've now got this here. So um, if I hover over that entry here, I can see it and I can also click more to view it on its own page here. So I can see the word with the, the definition in full. So that's... Um, how we've got that set up nice and simply now. Um, and um, notice that it doesn't appear in titles. I think this uh, would only ever appear in the actual body content of a page or a topic or a lesson. Um, and it's quite a good thing. You probably wouldn't want your titles linking off to glossary entries. So we hope you find that useful. And if you have a really technical course, it could be really useful and make things much easier for your learners if you have something like this to help them work out what certain words are and acronyms and uh, it's just a, a nice simple uh, way for them to look at the definitions of things. So if you like this video please give it a like and if you'd like to see more videos like this please subscribe to our YouTube channel.